it's an egg bee. Uh, a few weeks ago, I managed to get my uh, Medico M3 picked on camera. Uh, now, that was a five pin version, uh, and a few people shouted out, Hey, mine's six pin. Um, so that really sort of set a spark in me that I wanted to get hold of a, a six pin version to see how I would fare against that. Uh, so, W3YO Ray. Uh, kindly offered to trade me something for this uh, six pin version uh, give you a look at the key um, does look hugely longer than the, my uh, five pin one and um, there's the uh, the rotational bit in for the uh, for the uh, sidebar so we arranged a trade uh, it's taken a little while um, with the postage from uh, USA and whatever uh, but it finally arrived and, and I'm really really glad to have got it picked on camera um, what he didn't tell me though was I thought this was going to be a, a challenge just in a step up from uh, from five pin to six pin because um, that, that really does raise the challenge um, exponentially uh, it seems every time you add a pin it doesn't get you know two pins isn't twice as hard as one pin you know it's more like three times as hard etc etc um so uh, but what he didn't tell me until he'd actually posted it uh was that this has also got uh, milling in the core uh, i'll put a picture up there because uh, I, I didn't get it to focus very well uh, on the uh, on the pick and gut so i'll put a picture of the milling up there uh, and that's proved to be a, a real uh, added element of challenge for me as well uh, there's a couple of mushroom pins in this uh, they catch really well on on that so you you've got to control the tension really well uh, and even the standard pins give a, a, a little click uh, that you're just not expecting uh, with that milling uh, so differentiating between that click and a, and a proper set pin uh, it was tricky to work out as well but yeah I, and I know an m3 is not cutting edge in the in the world of lock picking but um, uh, I'm really proud of myself to be able to, to get this one done uh, so uh, just remains to say thanks to Ray um, absolutely brilliant chatting to you and sorting this out uh, and uh, yeah well here comes the pick and gut um, thanks a lot okay so to satisfy everybody spin that over with the key um, key out there's the bit in so that's how you would find this lock in the wild um, you wouldn't have it scrambled so this is I'm, I'm going to go from a video with a with that so look at that bit in and uh, so that's just to protect the bottom of the keyway uh, and then I've got easy access uh, to the uh, sidebar actuator as well uh, and let's see how we're going so anti-clockwise Let's have a look at pin one visually. Uh, I do find it easier to just do that pin one. It takes one out of the equation. Okay, that clicky clicky uh, is pin one uh, set rotationally. Okay, pin two is fine. Pin three is not. And this is the bit that I am still struggling so much with. If anybody's got any tips on how better to rotate these pins. So one, two is now gone. Got two back. Okay, got three. Four's not set. Might be. Start again. So one, two, three. No, four's definitely not set. Okay, disturb three. Uh, 
Okay. From the beginning. One, two, three. Four is definitely wrong. So with this one, if there's a definite spring to it uh, on the sidebar actuator, it, nothing is, is even close to set, I don't think. Let's try that again. Okay, a little bit of movement there, uh, so that's hopefully all of the pins set rotationally. Uh, so just keep the tension on and let's have a feel for binding pins uh, up and down now. Okay, count of six. Click out of two, a little bit of coil movement. And there we go, I've got it open. So, I need to cut this now. Uh, so, let's take some of that focus off. Okay, so quite clearly, see that's uh, picked. So, I'll lock that back up. And I'll just take it's really sticky uh, coming out without the key in uh, just get a finger around here trap the sidebar and drop that car down there so very gently take the key out. Uh, so the sidebar is going to come out now and there's two springs behind that. Just make sure that they stay in one place or the other, either on the sidebar. So one's on the sidebar and one's just falling out there, if you can still see that. So. And there's one sidebar spring. And there's the other. Just put that down. And then got the sidebar actuator. Cover that spring up and that comes out complete with the uh, 
Now let's give you a view of that milling. So chamber one, two, uh, three's got nine, four, five, and six have all got that uh, mill in them. And that's really pretty catchy. I don't know why they would miss it out on three, but they do. So there we go. And look around the front of that court. And there's the sidebar. All the fingers complete. And there's everything. So we've got uh, just two mushroom spools, the rest standards, uh, and then the the key pins have got no false gates on. Uh, and that really has helped uh, with getting the rotation uh, sorted. I'm never going to get a close up, are we? There we go, that's better. So, as you can see, no false gates on. There is just the one big true gate on there. Uh, so, that's my uh, six pin Medico M3 from uh, W030Y Ray. Uh, Ray, thanks again so much for the trade. Uh, absolutely brilliant. I've really enjoyed working this out.